Alex, don't you think you've got enough? <laughs> Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and no, I don't have enough Switch consoles. And it's just as well, because Nintendo were like, Alex, do you want to have a look at the new Zelda Limited Edition, the Tears of the Kingdom one? I mean, look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, well, yeah, obviously I want to look at it, but, you know, at the same time, we don't really, you know, everyone else is going to be doing that. What can we do? Oh, we could get all of them. That's right. Every single blinking limited edition OLED that has ever been released, which thankfully for this video and for my sanity is only three. <laughs> Not even going to faff around at all. As you can see, we got camera B going here and uh, I'm just going to show you it. It's, uh, it's, it's more than enough waffling. Let's dive right into these. Okay, let's have a look at these. I've not actually looked at these at all yet. I know obviously what they look like because, well, there's the box. That That's a pretty, pretty big giveaway. Um, one thing I do really like about this one is this green here. I don't know what it is. This green, it just sings to me. But what about the rest of it inside? Ah, let's open this up. Oh, it's a switch, all right. I've, I've seen this process before. Let's start with the Joy-Cons, if, if, if I can get them out. So these are obviously, these are the Joy-Con, and uh, they're, they're in their plastic bags. We, we need to, we need to free them. Haja Shazam! Wadly woo! Ho 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 ho! Those are very nice. I'm usually not a big fan of gold. Um, but I don't know, these are sort of more satiny rather than straight up glossy. And you know what? I, I it kind of works. Like, it, 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 it kind of works. Oh, that's a really sweet little thing. On the back there, there's little things there I need to work out. I'm not used to using this camera. It's just this little emblem on the back. That's really sweet. That's a really nice touch. That's the sort of thing I love. I've also just realized the audio may be a bit funky from this being in the way. Oh well. Let's get them attached to their switch, shall we? Now, I know that on the back of this, there is something... Oh, it is. It's textured. Oh, let me see if I can get an angle. Look at that. There's something about that simplicity, that simple design. I just love it. But let's have a look and see what these all look like when placed together. Oh, I love a new switch. I love a new OLED. Oh... That's the boy right there. Let's have a look. Oh, you can see the fact that I'm using an iPhone. It is a lovely bit of kit, this. It really is. Nintendo really do very good special editions. I also forgot how cold the OLED can feel when it's fresh out of the box, because obviously the metal housing, it just, well, it doesn't, it's not cold, is it? It's, it's sucking the heat from your hands, I know. Don't at me. But it's a lovely little thing, isn't it? It's just, ah, oh, I want to turn it on, but at the same time, it's just going to be a switch at the end of the day. I think. Let's find out. There's no Tears of the Kingdom on here. I mean, I knew that, but I'm still disappointed. <laughs> but it's not over. We've also got the dock, and now I know... I Again, I know what the dock looks like, but even so... You know, it actually looks nicer in person. I wasn't completely convinced by it at first when I first saw it, and, well, saw images online. But you know what? It's actually pretty chuff and lovely, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I'd, oh no, I, oh, that's actually better than I thought. Oh, oh mate, Nintendo do know how to do a good special edition. I've just realized actually there's, there's something, I mean like on the back, I, I didn't show you the back and it's got those little accents there, but also I'm guessing because it doesn't say on the front, it, it says Nintendo Switch at the top there. Can I show you that? Will that come through? Can I get the right angle? This is Nintendo Switch. My normal dogs don't do that. I, I I would show you, but I'm comfy. I honestly like the gold far more than I thought I would. I give the, I, I thought this was going to be a 9. I'm, I'm giving this a solid 10 out of 10. This is a gorgeous special edition. It's moving on time. Let's have a look inside this puppy. Yes, it is the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet special edition. Now, you all know my feelings about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but it doesn't matter if this is tasty. Let's find out. Whamma jamma! Wobbly boo! I can't deny I really like this colorway. There's something about it. It's not like this isn't quite as stark red as it was. I'm gonna have to do some post correction to make sure this comes through properly. And this purple is, ah, oh, it's, it's just lovely. It's really, really nice. I am not completely sold on these crests. I can't deny. Um, I think it's just a personal thing. 
maybe because I didn't have the best time at school, but you know, uh, it's not it's not offensive. It's not offensive, but uh, the back, the back is really nice. Have a look at that. Let's see. Oh yes, see all those starter Pokemon on there. Lovely. Two for a Coco, as it should be. What about the console? Let's slip this sucker out and. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, again, I've seen images of this in the past, but seeing it in the flesh is another thing entirely. It's it's really lovely. It's sort of it's almost like a sort of a graffiti graffito art style and well, maybe more sort of sticker like, but uh, no, that's really nice. Let's get those Joy-Con on. That is one fine looking switch. Honestly, if it weren't for these little emblems at the front, which I fully understand why they've got them, you know, sort of it's it's part of the whole sort of school motif and it's an important part of the game. But I don't know, it just I think I would prefer if there was more of the sort of just the stickers on the front or even just plain design. Personal preference. It's Dock O'Clock and mm, yeah. Oh, this one actually says Nintendo Switch on the top as well. It's not a unique Zelda thing. I've got to be honest, this dock is just not doing it for me in the same way. The glossy front, I, I actually like more than I thought I would, but these are very sort of bold and striking designs and it doesn't really it doesn't blend in in the same way as some of the other special editions. I don't know. I mean, there is a sort of a nice effect, which I really don't think I'm going to be able to get across on camera. But uh, if you look at the old Scarlet mascot there. Oh, God, I've forgotten its name. How long is that image? Find it. Go away. People might have missed my amusing linguistic treat. So there's a sort of effect on Coridon, and I really don't know if I'm going to be able to get it across on camera. Maybe just ever so slightly, but there's sort of like a, almost like a sort of fragmented, like square effect. I'm ready. Oh, you can just about see it. You can just z z enhance. <laughs> you can just about see it there. It almost looks like a series of Triforces or something like that. That is a nice touch. I do like that, but I, it, it's the boldness. I'm, I'm, I'm just not sold on it in the same way, which is a shame because the console itself, really lovely. I mean, look at that. I give this a, a solid, this is a solid, oh, oh, the dock really does dock at some points. It's getting a, it's getting a, oh, it's getting a seven out of 10, a seven out of 10. Still good, very good. Better than the game. We're working back in chronological order. It's now time for the Splatoon 3 limited edition. And I've been fawning after this for blinking ages. Let's get these saucy Joy-Con out of their plastic prisons. Ah, wah bang uh, wah bang I don't know how anyone can not absolutely love these. I mean, I suppose, you know, sort of uh, horses, of course, people have different opinions, obviously, but, you know, just, just look at them. How are those not two of the most gorgeous Joy-Con you've ever seen? The gradient effect, the multiple colors, and you look at the back. They've got sort of squiddy and octopus design. Oh! I don't know whether you can tell, but the backs are also semi-translucent. You can just about see through them. I, oh, yeah, no, I love these Joy-Con. These, these, these Joy-Con alone are a 10 out of 10. Switchy time. Now I can't quite... Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's a classic. It's just like the Pro Controller, but it's actually on the Switch itself. How gorgeous is that? Again, it's kind of uh, similar to the Pokemon style, almost like a sort of a, a graffiti style, even more so with this one. Definitely less stickery and more graffiti-like. And let's put it all together. Sweet baby beans. That is a handsome looking switch. I can see why Felix went for it. Yeah, I mean, from the front, obviously, it's mainly just the Joy-Con, but the back, oh my word, the back. Look at that. That's sort of off-white and black. Well, it's not quite black, it's a very dark gray. And the fact that it's just that little bit glossy. Oh, sweet baby beans. I'm, I'm, I, I adore this. I didn't film me taking it out. This dock again, this, this dock is just gorgeous. There's something so sort of effortlessly simple about it. And interestingly, this one doesn't say Nintendo Switch on the top. I'm guessing because it's still got it here, because it's a more sort of, uh, sort of a simpler, design it comes across that splat right right there can you tell uh, my feed isn't mirrored it's honestly it's it's just gorgeous and the back is the same again that's a point is there anything on the back of the <gasps> there is okay okay right on the back here do you see that it's a little pokeball it's a little pokeball eight out of ten that gets it an extra point i don't even care just look at that is that not just absolutely to die for 
it's so, oh, it's just so stylish. I this, this is an honestly, it's another ten out of ten just because of the amount of color. It just drips style and oh oh. I had the uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu Special Edition for a really long time. That was my main switch until the OLED, and I think I've still got it. I say that like I would ever throw a Nintendo console away. It's a little bit dusty. It's a little bit grimy, but uh, as you can see, yeah, a nice sort of subtle design on the back again. Nintendo did good work with the older ones, generally. There were some duff ones. The original Switch Special Editions, I mean. The OLEDs, I genuinely think they've gone above and beyond. And to be honest, ah, I really wish they'd do some light ones as well. Am I just showing off at this point? I think a super big part of it is that on the backs, you don't have any of all that sort of like, uh, that sort of, that guff that you need, that sort of horrible information. Because I, I seem to think, I seem to remember, it's uh, yeah, it's it's all underneath the uh, it's all underneath the flap there. So it's all hidden, which means that the actual system itself just looks so slick. It's so slick. It hasn't got all of this sort of like safety warning guff on there or anything like that. I mean, you do on the Joy-Con. That is a shame, but you know there are some things you can't avoid. They've managed to avoid it on the back of the system itself and that pays dividends. Gonna have to find a way to display them all now. What an incredible array of consoles. I can't find any better way to show them off than this. This is really as good as it's gonna get. Mike, oh God, it's so heavy and wobbly. They've done an incredible job on all of them. I think they're all fantastic. I do think that the Pokemon one loses some points just due to personal preference, but the other two more than make up for it. And as far as I'm aware, these are all in stock again now. I think that's part of the reason why they sent them over. Massive thanks to Nintendo UK for sending these over. They are so much better in the flesh than they are in images. I can't, I can't say that enough. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you split that subscribe button into three and then choose which ones are the best, and even though they're all beautiful. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Curly. <laughs> got enough sweat. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I was avoiding that. <laughs> Ideally, forehead, not face. Because I haven't recorded the video yet. <laughs> Alex, don't you think you've got enough? <laughs>